Ever wondered what makes fighter jets so incredibly fast and maneuverable? We're diving deep into the hidden secrets of modern fighter jets, uncovering the technological marvels that make these war machines the kings of the skies. You've seen them in movies, but you've never seen them like this. Get ready to have your mind blown as we reveal the incredible secrets of fighter jets, including the technology that allows them to become practically invisible to radar. Benefit-Driven Promise Want to know what it takes to design and build a fighter jet that can outmaneuver any opponent? This video will take you inside the minds of engineers and designers, revealing the cutting-edge technology and innovations that make these machines so powerful. This is the FEXX, the Navy's next-generation fighter jet, set to replace both the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II as the dominant force in the skies. While many expected the Air Force to lead the race toward a true sixth-generation stealth fighter, it's actually the Navy that might take the lead. But what exactly are they bringing to the table? A concept image of the FEXX has been released, revealing a tailless, blended wing body, BWB design. The wings flow smoothly into the fuselage, and the aircraft lacks any vertical stabilizers. Its air inlets are fully recessed, likely to minimize radar-detectable resonance. With stealth as a priority, it's safe to assume the FEXX will feature advanced radar-absorbing composite materials. But stealth alone won't make this the next top-tier fighter. The FEXX will need to address some key limitations found in today's jets. Vertical tail fins help control yaw and improve maneuverability. Fifth-gen fighters use twin canted tails to reduce radar cross-section RCS, but they still create visual and radar signatures. Large, exposed engine inlets are another weakness. While they're necessary for thrust, they can emit low-frequency resonance detectable by radar arrays. Then there's the cost. Each F-35C comes with a price tag of about $117 million, and its total life cycle cost is projected at $1.3 trillion over 66 years. That's a steep price for a platform that's already facing technological limitations. The FEXX aims to improve performance while reducing costs, offering greater speed, range, and survivability. Modern threats demand more from combat aircraft. China's missile systems, like the DF-21D, often called the carrier killer, can launch a 600 kilograms warhead over 2,150 kilometers, 1,336 miles. The DF 26B doubles that payload and stretches its range up to 4,000 kilometers, 2,485 miles. Even more concerning is the DFZF, a hypersonic glide vehicle capable of speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10, with a range of nearly 2,000 kilometers. These systems are positioned in China's key anti-access slash area denial, A2 slash AD, zones, the South China Sea, East China Sea, and Taiwan Strait, threatening any foreign force that comes near. The F-35C has a maximum flight range of 1,200 nautical miles, meaning its combat range is only about 600 nanometers. To strike Chinese territory, U.S. carriers would already need to sail into dangerous waters within range of Chinese missile systems. The FEXX will need not only superior stealth to slip through defenses, but also a longer combat range to strike from safer distances. A 1,000-mile range might no longer be enough, especially with threats like the DF-26 be potentially reaching 2,500 miles. Speed will also be crucial. The F-35, using a turbofan engine like the Pratt and Whitney F-135, can reach Mach 1.6 even when fully loaded. Initially, it was thought that 6-gen fighters would use similar engines, but that's changed. The new FAXX will likely use an adaptive cycle engine ACE, a hybrid between a turbofan and a turbojet. These engines adjust airflow in real time for maximum fuel efficiency and speed, potentially exceeding Mach 2 at altitudes up to 65,000 feet. The leading prototype is the XA100, still under development. How far it can push the FAXX remains to be seen, but the goal is clear. Build a fighter that can fly farther, faster, and quieter, while staying one step ahead of tomorrow's threats. In the meantime, the FEXX brings several game-changing features that could redefine modern warfare. 
While radar technology has been essential for decades, it has its limitations. Today's radars, especially those operating at very high frequencies, VHF, can detect stealth aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35. At the same time, active radar emissions can now be detected, revealing the aircraft's presence. As integrated air defense systems, IEDS, become more advanced, stealth fighters face greater risk in high-threat zones. To overcome this, the FEXX must push beyond the current generation's electronic and sensor capabilities. It's expected to include advanced infrared search and track IRSD, systems that passively detect heat signatures without emitting signals. The jet will also carry out electronic warfare, like radar jamming, to remain undetected as it closes in on targets. All this will be managed by a powerful sensor fusion system, providing real-time data in a single, intuitive display, allowing the pilot to make faster, more informed decisions. A key component of the FAXX's strategy is its integration with drones under the Loyal Wingman concept, or Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. The manned jet could fly alongside up to four drones, each handling different roles, from scouting and electronic disruption to acting as decoys or flank defenders. Picture a next-gen fighter jet deep in enemy airspace, one drone neutralizing threats ahead, another monitoring the rear, while two more provide flanking support. This is just one scenario. Countless others are possible through advanced AI and seamless data sharing. Thanks to AI, these drones could operate independently after receiving initial instructions, allowing the pilot to stay focused on the mission. Human oversight remains part of the system, but micromanagement won't be necessary. This transforms the FEXX from a lone aircraft into a small, coordinated strike group capable of overwhelming defenses. With the Navy pioneering this vision for future air combat, many are wondering what the Air Force is doing in response. After all, They've led aviation for decades, with fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 dominating the skies. That leadership was reaffirmed when they launched the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGD, initiative, aiming to create the world's first sixth-generation fighter. However, the NGD program has been plagued by setbacks. Frequent redesigns have caused companies like Northrop to withdraw, leading to funding complications, while Boeing and Lockheed Martin remain even they've warned they might pull out if changes continue. By contrast, the FEXX program hasn't lost any major partners. Though the contractor hasn't been officially named, all signs suggest steady progress. And unlike in GD, which focuses strictly on air superiority, the FEXX is being built for multi-domain operations, making it a more flexible and potentially more dominant platform. If successful, this could mark a shift in leadership, with the Navy becoming the top force in military aviation, independent of the Air Force. In the end, the FEXX isn't just another stealth jet. It's a leap forward in electronic warfare, AI coordination, and battlefield adaptability. But is it the final word in air dominance, or just the beginning of another global arms race? Time will tell. The LREW is a U.S. Air Force initiative for a large, long-range air-to-air missile capable of striking unseen targets. Similar in purpose to the AIM-260. Concept images show a two-stage missile launched from platforms like the F-22. Due to its size, it may not fit in the internal bays of stealth fighters like the F-22 or F-35 and could be better suited for the F-15 EX Eagle II or the upcoming B-21 Raider. Raytheon is leading development and it is separate from Lockheed Martin's AIM-260 program. 3. Turkey's to Missile Program Turkey is also advancing its own air-to-air -air missile technology under the TU program, led by Tbitak Sage. This program is developing four missile types to be used on F-16s and future Turkish jets like the Herjit and TFX. These will be the first fully indigenous air-to-air -air missiles made in Turkey. Bozdegan is a short-range, infrared-guided missile, while Goktagan is a long-range, radar-guided one. Both were successfully flight-tested in 2018. These missiles are meant to replace the U.S.-made AM-9 Sidewinder and AM-120 Amram on Turkish aircraft. They are also intended for use on Turkish drones, like the Bayraktar Akinci and Kizilelma. The Bozdegan WVRAM, within visual-range air-to-air missile, features a heat-seeking sensor 
with 360-degree targeting, strong jamming resistance, and thrust vectoring for high maneuverability. It uses clean burning fuel and an advanced electronic targeting system, and it includes a specialized warhead designed to maximize hit probability.